Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is David and in today's video, I'll be diving into something super important for anyone with a website, Google Search Console. Now, if you've been scratching your head trying to figure out how your website performs on Google or how it can climb those search rankings, you're in the right place. Google Search Console is a free and powerful tool that shows you how your website interacts with search results, the keywords people are using to find you, and even helps you troubleshoot issues that could be hurting your visibility like dead links and indexing. Now, by the end of this video, you'll not only know how to set up and use Google Search Console, but also understand how to unlock its full potential to boost your website's SEO and get more eyes on your content. So if that sounds interesting, then stick around, press the like button, and let's jump right into it. Now, the very first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is create a Google Search Console account. You can do this by going to search.google.com, and then over here, just pressing the Start Now option. So once we do that, we'll be directed to this page over here, which says, welcome to Google search console. And it gives us two options, our domain and URL prefix option. So basically what Google search console is asking us to do over here is to put in or connect a website so that it can basically link it and you can get to see all of the data about that website. Now, if you don't have a website link, we can go ahead and do that together right now. Now, the option that I recommend is this domain option over here, because it basically connects your entire website as opposed to one particular URL. So I'm just going to go ahead and select my domain over here. This is a new test website I've created called 10minutetutorials.com. You can put in your own domain. Once you have that in here, just press the continue option. So once we enter our domain, we'll be directed to this pop-up over here, which says verify domain ownership via DNS record. So Google search console basically over here wants to confirm that this domain is in fact ours. And it wants to do this by actually basically just putting in this code into our hosting provider. Now, depending on your hosting provider, where you can put this code in might be a bit different, but I'll show you in my case. So my hosting provider is SiteGround. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And then I'll go into my backend for my hosting provider, which is right over here. And then under the domain section right here, I'll go under DNS zone editor. And then over here, go to the TXT option and then go ahead and actually just copy and paste in the code. Okay. I'll just go ahead and press the create option over here. Once we've done, we've created the TXT record. And if I go back to the Google Search Console page over here, we can see that I can go ahead and press the verify button. Now, once we successfully verify our domain, we'll be directed to this pop-up over here, which just confirms that our domain has been verified. And then over here, we can go to our property, or in this case, our domain, to see the different settings in Google Search Console. So once you do that, let's go ahead and press this button right here. So here we are, guys. This is what the Google Search Console dashboard or homepage looks like. Now we can see right off the bat that we don't really have any metrics over here because this is a domain we just connected and is a new domain. But generally speaking, once you have your domain processed and established, you should have a lot of information over here for your website. So on the left over here, we have the different settings like performance, URL inspections, pages, sitemaps, so on and so forth. And I'll quickly dive into each of these settings in this tutorial so you have a good understanding of what they are. So first, let's go ahead and talk about this first tab, which is our main dashboard or our overview tab. So over here, guys, if I go ahead and actually show you this screenshot right here, this is the same screenshot of a overview tab, but over here we actually have some data, so it'll be more visual. So in the performance section over here, you can go ahead and see the total searches for your particular website. So we can see by dates, it's telling us for this dummy website that there's 24,000 searches. And then if I scroll down over here, it tells us, for example, how many pages have been indexed versus not. So we can see the two lines over here. And then if we scroll down once again in the experience section over here, it's basically telling us for mobile and for desktop, what the score is, if there's any improvements required, and if we have any non-secure pages. So this first page over here, or first tab rather, gives you a very good understanding on the top level KPIs of how your website is doing in terms of clicks, performance, and just general overall website health. All right, so that's your overview tab first. Now, if we go back to our dashboard over here, the next tab I want to talk about is our performance tab. Now our performance tab once again has no data over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you a screenshot once again. So for our performance tab, we can see that there are a couple different metrics that are very important. It shows us our clicks, our impressions, our CTR, which is our click through rate, and then our average position on search. So you can go ahead and actually see these four key metrics over here and then track them over time. All right, if we scroll down over here, it shows us the different queries so over here. We have it blurred, but basically over here, it'll show you your top keywords, the clicks they're getting, the impressions they're getting, what pages are getting the most click, the countries, devices, which gives us a more granular view into the different settings we have. All right. So it's a pretty powerful tab and I spend a lot of time over here. Okay. So that's basically what our performance tab is. 
Now, the next tab I want to talk about very quickly is our URL inspection tab. Now, this tool basically allows us to check the status of specific URLs on our website. So you can see if a page is indexed, you can request indexing for new or updated content, or just troubleshoot issues that may prevent a page from appearing in search results. Now, this is especially useful when you want to understand how Google sees a particular page, or if you've made update and you want them reflected in search results quickly. So let's go ahead and once again, take a look at a screenshot of what this looks like on a populated page. So if you go ahead and click it over here, you can go ahead and put in your URL right here. And then once you put in your URL, you can go ahead and test it and you will see the different information about the URL over here. So for example, it'll tell you if it's crawlable, if it has indexing allowed and the different settings over here will be available to you. So that's how you can go ahead and actually inspect the different URLs on your website to make sure that they're actually updated and they're working properly. All right. So that's basically what the URL inspection tool does. So now let's move over to the next tab. Now the next tab over here is our pages tab. Now on our pages tab, similar to our URL inspection tool, we can basically see all of the pages on our website that have been indexed versus the ones that have not. So we can go ahead and actually flag any pages and figure out why they're not appearing on Google. If we take a look at a screenshot of what this looks like in real time, so we can see over here for this dummy website, we have all of the pages in gray that are not indexed versus the one that they are. And then over here is showing us the different reasons why particular pages are not indexed. Okay. So we have a good way to solve this and troubleshoot each of these problems. All right. So that's what this tab basically does. So once we move forward from our pages tab, we have our sitemaps tab next. Now our sitemap tool basically allows us to submit our XML sitemap to help Google discover and crawl our website more effectively. So once you have your sitemap, you can just go ahead and put it over here and then Google search console will tell you if it was successfully added. If we take a look at the screenshot over here, we can see that in this particular example, three times it was a success and twice it couldn't fetch it. And all of the metrics or the history is over here. All right. So that's what the sitemap tab is and you can constantly keep updating it. Now, if we move over to the next tab over here, we have our removals tab. And basically what this tab does is it allows us to temporarily hide content from appearing on Google search. And you can go ahead and actually put in a request, for example, a particular URL that you don't want to appear on Google search. You can go ahead and add that over here and go through the process. So this is how you control what people see on your website versus what they don't. All right. So that's what this tab does. So once you have your removal tab completed, we can move over to the next tab, which is our page experience tab. Now on this tab, Google Search Console is basically evaluating our website on certain factors like speed, mobile usability, and security. And based on that, it basically gives us a score and tells us where we can go ahead and improve our page experience. If we once again, take a look at our screenshot, we can see over here for the dummy website, it's telling us that for our mobile device, there's actually a poor score and needs a lot of improvement. And for our desktop, it also needs a lot of improvement. Okay. So this gives you a good understanding of how people are interacting with your website and the experience they're having so that you can optimize it. So this is a very powerful tab, which you can always reflect on. So once we have our page experience done, we can move over to the next one, which is our core web vitals. Now over here, this once again gives us data on essential metrics that affect our user experience, like page loading speed, interactivity, and just visual stability. If we take a look at our screenshot over here for this page, we can see that similar to our page experience tab, it's giving us for mobile and desktop, all of the poor URLs and the URLs that need improvement. So basically guys, these two tab allow us to see exactly how our website is performing and how Google is ranking it. All right. So it's a very powerful metric. Now, once we have our page experience and core web vitals completed, we can move over to our last tab, which is our links tab. So our link section basically shows us the websites that link to our particular website, as well as any internal links within our own website. It basically helps us understand our link profile and identify opportunities to strengthen our SEO. So if we take a look at our screenshot for the last time over here, we can see that even though these links are blurred, it gives us a good idea of our top linked pages. So the different websites that are linking to us, our internal links right here, we can see and then our top linking site. So with that being said, guys, that's pretty much it for this Google search console tutorial. I went ahead and very briefly took a look at all of these different tabs available to us. If you like this video, then go ahead and press the like button and share it with your friends. And as always, if you're interested in more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. On that note, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.